Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is the Frugal Sim News for today, Sunday, November the 6th. First up, big news from Rex with the release of World Airports HD. Now, I first saw this back in June at Flight SimCon, and it was pretty staggering what they were planning to do, and they've gone ahead and done it. It is an upgrade package which upgrades 24,000 airports in FSX and Prepared. Basically, it upgrades all the default airports, which is incredible. It's fully compatible with add-ons. It only upgrades the default airports, not your add-on scenery, and it upgrades the buildings, the terminals, jetways, runways, hangars, lighting, and so on on all those airports. It even overhauls signage such as the taxiway signs, runway signs, ground markings, and parking markings. It also adds custom ground vehicles like pushback and baggage tugs, as well as fuel trucks. Now this appears to work a lot like Texture Direct, also from Rex. It, you choose building sets, texture sets, and so on, and then create and save a theme. It has been optimized for performance, just like Rex 4 Texture Direct, and textures install rapidly, just like the blisteringly fast Rex 4 Texture Direct. It's a supports all versions of FSX and prepared. Now, it updates 24,000 airports, so it's a pretty big package, but it will only cost you $24, which is a bargain price. It's normally gonna be priced at $30, so $29.95, but they have an intro price going on right now. More information at rexworldairports.com, linked in the show notes below. Next up, another package previewed at Flight SimCon earlier this year, Orbex Direct and FTX Central version 3. Orbex have built their own store, which is called Orbex Direct, and their new website is orbexdirect.com. They've also integrated Orbex Direct with FTX Central 3. Now, what that means is, with FTX Central 3 now, you can fire it up and you can see all the Orbex packages, all the Orbex sceneries available, both free and premium. And if you have any of them installed, it will show you which ones are installed but you can also then straight from FTX uh, Central go ahead and buy the new sceneries which is pretty cool. Uninstalling is also an option as well. I didn't think we had uninstalling in FTX Central before but now if you don't like a scenery you can uninstall it very very easily. It will also automatically update all of your installed products. Now there is a migration path to go through if you bought Orbex sceneries the old-fashioned way there's a migration thing you have to go through to associate that account with your Orbex account and then that automatically populates your Orbex account with all the sceneries that you own which is pretty darn phenomenal. It's really cool to have everything all in one place at last, um, but it is potentially very expensive now as it's a heck of a lot easier to preview, get, buy, and install all of the Orbex scenery. Next up, the Milviz Huey UH-1 Redux release. This is a complete in-house rebuild from the ground up. So not an update, a complete redo of the Huey that uh, Milviz had seven years ago. Features the UH-1C and the UH-1H. The UH-1C features miniguns and rockets. The 1H has door-mounted M60 guns. The flight characteristic differences between the two variants are also included, which is pretty cool. It features completely accurate visuals and models, a highly accurate flight model. The flight model is also affected incidentally by gross weight and balance. You can even simulate auto rotation and vortex ring state. Milvis are trying very, very hard to change the reputation of FSX and prepared as regards to helicopters. And I've yet to see this. I do have it. I've yet to fly it. I'll let you know when I fly it. It also features a high quality sound set recorded from the actual aircraft and is compatible with add-on GPS, including of course Milvis's own GNS series, uh, as well as the Reality XPM Flight 1 series. Finally, the Milvis Huey UH, Milvis is Huey UH-1 Redux, there's a mouthful, is also tack pack ready. It's available right now for all versions of FSX as well as prepared version 2 and version 3 for just $50. Next up, over to X-Plane and the release of the X-Trident Tornado, which I missed a couple of weeks ago. I actually missed a couple of things for X-Plane and got wailed on in the Frugal Sim Facebook page for it, so hopefully this makes up for it. X-Trident's take on the famous Panavia Tornado multi-role combat aircraft is now available. It features pilot and navigator cockpits, detailed and accurate startup sequence, working terrain following radar. Now, I haven't tried this, and the terrain following radar in the actual tornado is also coupled to the autopilot unless these, these guys guys zip along about 200 feet off the ground at Mach 1. I yet don't know whether that's modeled in the sim as well, hopefully it is. It also includes a custom HUD including the CCIP bombing mode, realistic in-flight refueling system, custom lighting and custom throttle response, which is important because of the performance of this aircraft. I imagine that this had to be done to get an accurate response from the engines in the system that the native X-Plane engine couldn't provide. It's not beta, but it is currently version 0.9, implying there is more to come. More more information at the xplane.org store, link in the show notes below. The price for the X-Trident Tornado is $38.95.
The next product I missed is Peter's aircraft VFW Fokker 614, also for X-Plane. Now this is a short haul airliner designed for short and rough runways. Not an incredibly successful aircraft unfortunately in the real world, but the Peter's aircraft version is a replica of the real thing built referring to one actually stored in the Aeronautica Museum in Nordholz, Germany. It features a comprehensive simulation of most of the systems, liveries of all the airlines that operated the aircraft as well as the Luftwaffe liveries, and custom instruments throughout. There are no no X-plane default instruments in this aircraft, which is pretty awesome. Fully modeled custom autopilot, working weather radar, custom sounds inside and out, and tons of documentation, study level tons of documentation, including the original flight handbook and training manuals, as well as a quick start. Very reasonably priced at $33 from the xplane.org store. More information at their link in the show notes below. Sticking with X-Plane, next up the Thranda Kodiak Quest, and the video you're watching as always, or as is often the case with X-Plane videos, is from my good friend Thomas Rasmussen. It is linked in the show notes below, check it out, check out his channel, do subscribe. Now this is the new Kodiak Quest from Thranda, also known as Dan Clow, formerly of Carinado fame. The feature list of this Bush aircraft is pretty damn extensive. It features a G1000 licensed from Carinado, a built-in auto updater, more X-Plane aircraft actually need something like that, so that's very cool. High quality and, get this, editable reflections. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm guessing you can edit what reflects to improve performance. Custom lighting, custom exhaust, heat effects, accurate cockpit, beautiful visuals inside and out, and realistic textures, i.e. chrome looks like chrome, and plastic doesn't look like chrome. Also comes with an electric tug for towing around the airport, custom audio, and the audio is also very, very realistic. You'll hear air from the vents, for example, if you point them at the camera, and you'll hear movement friction from the controls and a ton of other things like that. Very, very high level of attention to detail in audio on this aircraft. Also features an accurate depiction of the amount of cargo on board and tons of other features. Really do urge you to check out the X-Plane org store link on this aircraft in the show notes below to see the full feature list. The Thranda Kodiak Quest will set you back $34 and is available right now. Back over into the world of FSX and prepared, and in particular, previews. The Just Flight Hunter was previewed. They actually started previewing shots of their upcoming Hunter about two weeks ago, and the aircraft originally entered surface in 1951 as an interceptor. Just Flight's version recreates the F6 and FGA9. Comes with a complete set of accurate animations, very detailed throughout, different cockpit layouts, incidentally, for the F6 and the FGA9, and will be shipping with 12 liveries. No news on a release date or a price just yet, does seem to be developed by the internal Just Flight team that also did the camera, so high hopes for this one. More information at the JustFlight.com link in the show notes below. But sticking with Just Flight, the next preview is of their long-awaited HS-748. This is a short takeoff and landing aircraft originally designed as a replacement for the DC-3 and it first flew in 1960, but many are still flying today. The aircraft is designed to handle short remote airstrips. Just Flight's upcoming version of this models the Hawker Siddeley 748 Series 2, going to be featuring, as always, accurate animations throughout. An authentic recreation of the flap system on the aircraft includes ground uh, power unit, GPU, specular maps and bump mapping to add realism to the to the externals, accurate cockpit with fully animated switches and dials, accurate textures showing wear and tear, period autopilot, accurate electrical systems, realistic cold and dark, and an accurate flight model. Quite an extensive list. More information on the HS-748 prop liner at the Just Flight link in the show notes below. Finally, sticking with pre-orders and pre-releases, DCS Spitfire is now available for pre-purchase and it now has a release date. The DCS Spitfire Mark 9 is now available for, for pre-purchase ahead of its December 16th release date. This aircraft, as is often the case now with these aircraft coming out for DCS, features a completely accurate flight model, highly accurate cockpit with full six degrees of freedom movement if you're a track IR user or a VR user. Accurate animations, systems, weapons, interactive training missions, a full campaign, and also includes the elliptical and clipped wing variants of the aircraft. Now, pre-purchasing does not let you download the Spitfire right now, but it does net you a $10 discount on the full price of $49.99. It is available for pre-purchase right now at the digitalcombatsimulator.com link in the show notes below for $39.99. That's it for this week's show. As always, if I did miss something, please leave me a comment in the 
show notes below. Don't comment at the PNDG 747 screenshots assigned to a bit. I know you've got a video coming as soon as I've got permission to release it. As always, though, do leave me a comment in the comment section below. If I did miss something, I'll take a look and see if it's worth including in the next show. Until then, though, thank you so very, very much for your time and watching this video. My name is Frugal, and I'll see you all very soon.